If you ask actor Tom Selleck to describe the character of Jesse Stone, you get this. I think Jesse Stone is his own worst enemy in many ways. It's part of who he is. He has what Robert Parker calls a sense of irony. And without that sense of irony, you, you just have a guy who goes home and feels sorry for himself and who wants to root for that guy. And obviously, since we're on movie number six, um, people root for Jesse Stone. In No Remorse, we revisit the sleepy town of Paradise, Massachusetts, where police chief Jesse Stone is still on suspension and staying in character fighting his demons. There's two things that Robert Parker asked us to always have in our films. We're obligated to continue this pathology Jesse has with this ex-wife, Jen. I don't think we should talk. You don't think we should talk tonight? I don't think we should talk at all. For how long? As long as it takes. Although temptation can still be everywhere. The other thing is, is he must continue to struggle with the drinking issue, sometimes successfully, sometimes not. Jesse may be out as chief, but his two deputies remain. There's the trusty Rose, along with the new interim chief, Luther Suitcase Simpson, who's still a little green. He's had one police investigation class, which is one more class than Rose has, which is probably why the town council, when they suspended Jesse, made him temporary chief. His sort of life's ambition is just to be a good police officer. And the fact that Jesse's not around for the time being to be able to facilitate that is, uh, you know, something he's deeply conflicted about. But then a crime spree suddenly hits the town, which puts a strain on the department. They have a, a, a series of robberies in paradise they have to solve. Probably don't have the capability to solve it by themselves, and yet Jesse's not supposed to help them. If he doesn't help them, they're probably gonna lose their jobs too. Jesse is sort of the father figure to his two deputies. And now um, our father's gone away a little for a little while. But when copycat murders happen in a Boston garage, the mob may be involved, and Jesse is hired as a consultant by the state. I need your intuition. You got anything better to do? Allowing him to dust himself off and get back into the mayhem. Do you got a murder? No. I got two murders. The Jesse series takes movie making to a different level. The thing about our plots, they're real good plots, and, and our show's a mystery. But half the mystery is the characters. This is good television. If they can solve these two crimes, there's still one more mystery to pursue. Of course, the third mystery, Jesse himself, is never solved. And that's the continuing element of these movies.